What's up guys, welcome back. I hope you're all doing great and welcome back to this new episode. In this video, I'm going to review a masterpiece gem from the house of Nabil and here I'm talking about Al Bashik. Al Bashik is a very recently released fragrance under their Master Perfume Collection series. And there are total two perfumes in this series or in this collection until now. And I think there are one or two more to come in future. But for the time being, you can find two perfumes in this collection. So here in this video, I'm going to review the first one, which is Al Bashik. So let's start our review. And as always, we will start with the presentation and then I will try to explain to you that how this perfume actually smells. So you will get this perfume in this beautiful black and golden color box. The finish is matte here with this beautiful golden printing. And you will find the name of the perfume here in English, Al Bashik. And then on the other side, you will find the name of the perfume in Arabic. And then down here, you will find the name of the collection, Master Perfumer Collection and the logo of Nabil. On the top, you will find the initials of the bead, and then in the bottom, you will find a lot of ingredient details, batch code, barcode, QR code, etc. Nothing on the sides, and uh, that's it. So this is the box. The box looks very beautiful. And now let me show you the bottle. And this perfume comes in this beautiful black color bottle. The bottle finish is matte here. This bottle is painted. It's not transparent, but it's opaque. And you will find the name of the perfume here on one side in English, and then in Arabic on the other side, nothing on the sides, nothing in the bottom. And then as you can see, you will find this beautiful metallic golden cap on the top of this bottle and this beautiful falcon. The quality, the finishing of this falcon is very nice. The cap here is made of metal and the finishing is very nice here and it's quite heavy. It's not very heavy, but it got some weight, but the bottle here is very heavy. So this is the presentation. And now let's talk about the juice, the magical juice, which comes in this beautiful bottle. So first of all, this perfume is really a masterpiece and a niche class fragrance. Let me give you the nose breakdown first and then I will try to explain you that how this perfume actually smells. So here, there are I think more than 25 notes in the nose breakdown. And this is the way how Nabil uh, mentioned their notes and how they make their fragrances. So here in the top, you will get leather, incense, cardamom, cypress, fresh woody pine, bitter almond, fruity, grapefruit, lavender, Artemisia, cinnamon, saffron, bergamot, apple, nutmeg, and styrax. And then in the middle notes, you will get cedarwood, balsamic notes, myrrh, smoked olibanum, gaikwood, earthy notes, uh, charismal, cashmiran, jasmine, uh, mugate, geranium, agarwood, labdanum, and cypress. And then in the base notes, there is vetiver, amber, vanilla, tobacco, uh, sweet notes, oud, ambergris, musk, patchouli, sandalwood, saffron, gajak, tonka, benzoin, tolu. So this was the notes breakdown and it's not hard to guess that it's going to be a very complex scent. And indeed, it's a very complex fragrance. So now uh, let's start our review and I will try to explain you that how this perfume actually smells and I have already sprayed uh, this perfume on this piece of tissue here. So let's start. So the first thing you will get here in the opening is some citrusy notes, but citruses here are not sharp, they're not zesty. But on the other hand, they're very smooth, little sweet, rounded and creamy kind of citruses here. So citruses on the top, not very prominent, but you'll get that very smooth, fruity citrusy kind of note in the opening. And then there is a very strong note of smoke, but even the smoke here is very smooth and sweet. It's not a very uh, tough or hard kind of smoke, but it's smooth. And then after that, you will get a beautiful note of incense, a lot of incense here. And with incense, you will get a very beautiful blend or a mix or a combo of sandalwood and kayak wood. Both of these uh, woody notes, they are creamy, soft and rounded. So the whole concoction gives you that smooth, sweet and rounded kind of feel along with all that complexity. So with this beautiful note of woods, you will get some myrrh here in the middle. Myrrh is not very prominent, but it's there providing this perfume that resonance and 
balsamic kind of feel and then the superstar of this perfume leather oud and sweet saffron so this is opening this is how this perfume opens very complex but smooth deep warm and rich at the same time and then uh, after some time that balsamic notes becomes a little bit more prominent a little bit stronger and you will start uh, getting some floral notes here in florals i can only smell some nuances of sweet rose here there are a lot of florals in the notes breakdown but here i can get only rose and then there are some green nuances in this perfume uh, like cypress and then there are some uh, sharp notes of spices maybe there is some kind of amber here and then there is also some candy kind of sweetness here not too much not very prominent but yes there are some nuances of that candy kind of sweetness in this perfume uh, this is a very complex very rich very deep very exotic and very warm kind of perfume a truly masterpiece kind of scent if you guys like uh, interlude black iris so in the beginning it's going to give you that kind of feel the feel not the fragrance but the feel it's going to remind you uh, interlude black iris if you like interlude black iris you are definitely going to love this one uh, there are many faces in this perfume and after every half an hour to one hour uh, you will be experiencing something new and in every wearing you will keep discovering something new here in this perfume uh, it's leathery it's woody it's smoky it's incensey kind of scent and now get ready for the surprise as you all know the beat owns the spirit of dubai spirit of dubai is a luxury house here a luxury perfume house in uae owned by nabil and most of their perfumes are very iconic and very 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 famous and they comes with a very 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 big price tag a very hefty price tag i think the price starts from 3200 to 3500 dirhams and it can go up to 5000 or 5500 uae dirhams for a 90 ml perfume bottle and for 50 ml i think you have to pay around 2200 or something so a very hefty price tag and one of their very famous fragrances from their second generation and my favorite and i think the most famous one is bass and the price of bass is if i'm not wrong around uh, 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 5000 or something if i'm not wrong you can check it online so here this perfume al bashik this is not a replacement or not a clone of bass but i can say that this is a younger brother of bass you will find many uh, similarities in this perfume and bass it's not a clone uh, in bass the note of leather is very strong and it's very uh, complex kind of scent it's more complex than this but this you can say is a lighter version a light version of bass so if you like bass and uh, if you like a little bit lighter version or a little bit more smoother or variable version of bass then you can go with a bashik and you are going to love it so this was about the fragrance of al bashik and now let's talk about a uh, performance so performance wise uh nabil claims that these two perfumes from their uh, master perfumer collection they are going to last on your fabric for two days i haven't uh, tested this perfume for two days but i have tested this perfume for one whole day and yes this perfume it's going to stay on your fabric for one whole day maybe it will last for two days but i haven't tested for two days so one day is must and this is what i have tested so it's a very long lasting scent projection siage is also very good it's going to project like a beast in first half an hour to one hour and after that it gradually uh, the projection gradually comes down and it becomes a little bit softer but still it always keeps its presence whenever you are going to interact with someone or even if you're going to pass by some people they will notice your perfume and in close spaces of course everyone will be able to smell this beautiful perfume but the whiffs are beautiful they are soft smooth and very elegant this is a niche class scent complex and exotic kind of composition here 
So this is not for everyone. This is not a crowd pleaser kind of scent. It's a niche class, complex scent. So don't blind buy. Uh, do try if you have an option and only then you can buy or try to get a decant of this perfume before buying it. Uh, so performance wise, it's great. No issue at all. For the gender, this is a unisex kind of scent, leans a little bit more towards men. For the age group, this is for mature people. And for the people who have a little bit mature nose. So if your age is around 25 years old, plus you can rock this perfume. And for the season, you can wear it all year round if you are living in a uh, controlled environment. But for the best experience, use this perfume in winters. In Arab countries, in Gulf countries, you can also use it in summers without any problem. Uh, but if you're living in India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, so it will be better if you use it in cold weather. And now let's talk about occasion. You can use this perfume in almost any kind of occasion without any issue. I think you should only avoid sports activities or gym. Otherwise, you can use it almost everywhere in your office, in malls uh, or wherever you are going. And you can also skip if you are going on a beach or that kind of place where there will be direct sunlight. In that kind of scenario, you can avoid it. But in indoors, in a controlled environment or in cold weather, in the markets, on the streets, this is going to rock. You can also uh, use this perfume in your meetings and in your office. So this was about uh, the occasion. And now let's come to the main point at uh, the price. So you will get this perfume in 100 ml quantity. And on the box, they have mentioned that the concentration is Eau de Parfum, as you can see on the box here, uh, if it's visible. But here in the bottom, the concentration of this perfume is 66%. So technically it falls uh, in extract the perfume concentration, but on the box, they have printed Eau de Parfum. And the price of this perfume uh, nowadays in UAE, uh, either in their store or uh, on the website of uh, Nabil is 60 UAE dirhams. And for 60 UAE dirhams, you are getting a very high quality juice, uh, which can easily go for 200 to 300 UAE dirhams. But thanks to Nabil that they are keeping the price very low and they are keeping it affordable and economical. So this was about Al Bashik, a masterpiece niche perfumes from the house of Nabil. I hope you liked it and until the next video, take care and bye.